In this video, we're going to show some functions that describe matrix characteristics. Uh, these functions are listed right here. There's a function called rows, length, depth, and so on. And I'm using these two matrices, A32 and B1. A32 simply means three rows, two columns, and B1 simply means a, uh, a three by two. Three, I'm sorry, this is three rows, three columns. That's a square matrix, and this is a rectangular matrix. The function calls simply use call it like that, and indicate the matrix that you're referring to, and will give you the number of columns, and the function rows will give you the number of rows. Length refers to the number of elements in the matrix or vector, and so it's more appropriate to use it with vectors. Uh, and so I'm going, I'm going to create a vector here, and just say a vector V, column, control M, and I'm going to put uh, four rows, tab one column and put some numbers in them like um, three, uh, negative five, four, and negative two. If, if I say, um, <coughs> I'm going to move this to the left. If I say calls V, I get one column, rows V, or rows, or I could just also use the function length, length v for four elements. Okay, some functions that produce quantities that are related to linear algebra are the following. The function determinant DET calculates the determinant of a matrix. That function is only defined for square matrices, so the the uh, determinant of A32 is equal to 4. To, to type that, you have to type as indicated in here in brackets, DET of A32 equals, or you can go, you can click in here and go to the matrix and select this second um, icon and enter the name of the matrix there to, to calculate the in the determinant. Trace, the trace is the sum of the uh, main diagonal and a square matrix, and so the trace of A32 is 5. Then we have <coughs> certain norms. Norms are quantities that are used in linear algebra, and I'm just going to mention them here uh, without giving you a definition. You, you got to look it up in your books on linear algebra. But there is the L1 norm of a matrix, then there is the Euclidean norm of a matrix. The um, Euclidean norm of a vector is actually the length of the vector, and the geometric length, the Euclidean length of the vector. So if I take V <coughs> and I go um, norm E of V, I'm sorry, it's lowercase v, you get 7.3485. What I'm going to do here is going to take the square root of the sum, maybe put the sum right here, of V bracket sub K from K equal one to four elements. I'm sorry. <laughs> this should be squared. So when you take the elements of a vector, square them add them together and take the square root of that, that is the length, the Euclidean length of the vector, which is the norm, and exactly the Euclidean norm. Then you have the infinite norm. Again, we'll look for that information. Also look for the information regarding the rank of a matrix. The function rank will give you the rank of a matrix. And then the function max and mean will give you the maximum and minimum value of the matrix. I gave you some um, references here to look up the uh, definition about the determinant of a matrix. And here's the trace of a matrix, the sum of the main and diagonal. The L1 norm is defined as the maximum on the columns, of the, uh, of the, the maximum of the column sums. The Euclidean norm is referred to this quantity where lambda 1 are the eigenvalues of A. Um, and then the infinite norm is defined as the maximum row sum. About 
a rank, you find you, you have there is a link here that will give you information about the rank. These are functions then that are used to determine characteristics of the matrix, and you have the listing of those um, functions in this particular um, video. You can pause the video if you need to uh, remember all those uh, functions. With that, we'll finish this particular video about describing matrix characteristics.